Um, we appreciate everyone attending this this briefing on where we are in terms of Hurricane Ana. As you know, it remains a hurricane. Initially, we were hoping that it would be downgraded back to tropical storm. So it maintains its, its hurricane force winds in a Category 1. Um, the center of the storm passed south of Oahu at about 1 o'clock. It's now around 3.30. Um, we continue to feel the impacts, and we don't want to give the all clear. I think, in fact, we're really feeling the impacts now. It's quite windy. Uh, south onshore winds, um, more rain, and I, we're seeing increased surf along the south shore from all the way from Sandy Beach, which the surf is breaking at 12 to 18 feet right now, big waves, and we're, it's moving down the, the coast, down the leeward coast to Waianae. So we want to be very, very careful at this point. Um, here's, here are some of the things that we're going to start doing very shortly. We are going to be opening up our evacuation shelters, as we said, five of them, all pet friendly, starting at four. And we're going to be having our bus service start to pick people up, particularly our, our homeless population who is in no shelter or shelter that's not, is not going to sustain, um, stand up to the winds. And so, for example, starting at four o'clock, we're going to be picking up our bus service is going to be picking up homeless folks at Waianae Boat Harbor at four. Um, that's at Miley Beach, across from the Pink Store, Uliava Beach, Nanakuli Beach, and they're going to deliver folks down to Nanakuli High School. In Eva Beach, Papipi Road, starting at 5 o'clock, we'll be picking up people, Kaple Kmart, at 6 p.m., and we'll be taking them also to the Nanakuli High School. McCoy Pavilion, in Alamoana Beach Park, at 4 o'clock, and the bus stop fronting the zoo on Kapuhulu at 5 p.m., we're going to take those folks to Farrington High School. And then Waimanalo, we're going to pick folks up at Baby Makapu across in the Sea Life Park at 4.30, and Waimanalo Beach Park at 5, and we'll take those folks to Waimanalo Elementary School. If there's anyone else who would like to be picked up, they can go to those sites and be delivered to those, those places. We also, as you know, have two more shelters. One is in Leiluhua High School. The other one is Brigham Young University out in Laie. They can call 768-CITY and get a bus to come and pick them up, a handyman to come and pick up folks who feel that they're not safe in their homes and we can get them delivered there. So we wanted to um, thank everyone for working so hard. As you can see, this storm is very broad. The big island, even though the eye is now passed, is still feeling the impacts of this storm. They still have flash flood warnings in effect. I was hoping initially we could give the all clear later but I think with the size of this storm, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to see what kind of impacts there's going to be. We don't want anyone to let their guard down.